Good morning. Today is Friday, July 28th, 2017. Welcome to the Daily Mix TV's Morning Edition. So you just can't make this crap up. PR-plagued airline United is at it again, this time with a hypocritical claim that they care about your wallet, which is why they've put together a new low-price offering called Economy Basic. Basic, yeah, that's a good description for a fare level that splits travelers up, makes you pay extra to check in your bag, and doesn't actually allow you to carry a full-size carry-on onto the plane without yet another fee. It's called a quick cash grab for the greedy airline that, frankly, should be brought up on charges. Hey, United, guess what? Once again, you've dropped the ball. Once again, you've made another PR disaster. That earns you shaking my head, not for the day, for the year. What a joke the one-storied airline has become. And when they acquired Continental, they destroyed that brand as well. Like I said, you just can't make this crap up. Now, we all know trends come and go. It's the nature of business and marketing. A handful of years ago, it appeared that tea was going to start a bullish run against coffee, hence why Starbucks acquired Tivana in 2012 for $620 million. Now, sadly, that trend has gone the way of the dodo, as Starbucks announced yesterday they're closing all of their Tivana's 379 locations by spring of 2018. Now, as most of those locations are mall-based, the reality that mall traffic is in the basement had a big impact on Starbucks' decision. Malls have been struggling to deal with anchor store closings, lack of traffic, and so on, which have continued the downward spiral mall operators have been experiencing in the last several years. Companies like Simon & Westfield have been rolling out some creative concepts like fitness and hospitality facilities to attempt to stem the tide of losses, but it just isn't enough, at least not yet. The Tivana closure will result in a 3,300 loss of jobs, and Starbucks is offering employment at their coffee houses to help. So Starbucks is trying to do the right thing, both business-wise as well as to their employees. So kudos to you guys. Now, we all remember the tagline, I've fallen and I can't get up. According to the Centers for Disease Control, one in four older adults suffer from a slip or fall each year, and now Walgreens is lending a hand to help. The chain drug store is launching Senior Day on August 1st to help reduce the risk of injury from slips and falls and to educate senior communities. They're offering injury prevention tips and advice. In addition to encouraging customers to talk to pharmacy staff about fall prevention, Walgreens stores will have informational materials available, including a CDC home fall prevention checklist for older adults. It identifies ways to make the home safer for seniors. Now, customers who are Walgreens Balance Rewards members will receive 500 bonus points if they ask a pharmacy staffer about fall injury prevention. So it's a pretty cool program. Additionally, members who are age 55 or older or are an AARP member can receive 20% off of eligible regular price merchandise on that day only. Now, look, as a member of Generation X with two baby boomer parents, thank you, Walgreens, it is appreciated. And as our population does age, because remember, baby boomers are the second largest demographic in the United States, right behind millennials, it's going to be even more important that we do programming like this, especially for brands and companies that have an interest in the senior care space. My name is Sean Patrick Hillman. I'm the CEO of Hill Story Marketing. I'm also the editor-in-chief of The Daily Mix TV. We'd love to hear from you, so please email us at thedailymixtv at gmail.com. Have a great morning, guys. We'll catch you this afternoon.